San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria recently signed an executive order aimed at penalizing businesses who refuse to shut down. He joined us on the Fox 5 Morning News to defend the order, saying most people are following the rules, but it's the people who aren't that need to be held accountable. The fact, though, is that we have a small fraction of folks who are not doing that. And 10 months into this, with all the calamitous things that have happened since COVID has arrived, um, they still continue to operate this way. And so, yes, we have asked very kindly for very, very many months now. I was elected mayor about a month, or I was, became mayor about a month ago. And I look around and I see that, you know, the, for these folks who are ignoring these rules, there has to be some consequences. We are a nation of laws. And the second that we start ignoring the law or picking and choosing which ones we want to enforce, we don't become America at that point. So I'm doing my level best to make sure that we focus this on the egregious uh, violators of the public health order, people that we have been in touch with multiple times to make sure that they understand that there is consequences for this. Now, the mayor's order directs the police department and the city attorney's office to pursue fines of up to $1,000 and potentially other enforcement action. The city will also not be enforcing certain parking violations, including expired meters, in an effort to encourage people to stay at home. Well, when it comes to the latest numbers, just over 3,000 new coronavirus cases have been reported in San Diego today. That is a 17% positive rate of a test taken. Six new deaths were reported, bringing the county's total to 1,600 people. Right now, more than 1,500 are hospitalized with the virus, including 375 in the ICU. The regional ICU capacity in Southern California remains at 0%. One new community outbreak was reported today, and that was tied to a daycare or preschool setting.